Welcome back to People in Progress, where we talk all things self-improvement, lifestyle, and how to live your best life. I'm your host, Elsa, and this episode is all about mindset shifts and reminders to have the best year yet. And this is my fifth and final part in my New Year's mini-series. Um, if you want to go back and listen to my mini-series, you don't have to listen to them in order at all, and you don't have to listen to all of the episodes, but if you are interested in having the best New Year season and setting yourself up for the best 2024, then I highly recommend listening to it. We have episodes on my cozy goal guide to the New Year's season, a goal setting workshop, how to achieve your goals and sort of life hacks and tips for the new year. You might want to check the others out after this one because you can start with this one even though it is technically the last episode. They're all just sort of bite-sized pieces on how to live your best life this 2024 and yeah let's dive right into it. We have five mindset shifts and reminders for positive mindset to set you up for the best year possible so let's dive into it. Okay, so number one, focus on being rather than doing. You want to focus on behavior rather than the outcomes of your goals. Because if you're always waiting for the outcome, if you're always waiting for the end, that doesn't promote positivity in your everyday life. You want to fall in love with the process of becoming the person you want to be, of starting to live your dream life. And if the reality of living in your actions, of starting to do the goals that make up your dream life, don't feel great to you, Um, obviously there are things that are hard but you should be somewhat enjoying them but if they don't make you at least some bit happy then maybe they don't actually align with your dream life and we talk about this a bit in episode two of the new year's mini series and in episode what is it it's 16 i think let me check yes episode 16 is all about living intentionally and discovering your values and using your values to actually live your dream life so your goals should be enjoyable because they should align with the life you want to live so it's worth going back and reflecting on these goals and the habits you're doing to see if they actually align with who you want to be and not just the idea of who you think you should be. Personally, I think being means that it is part of your lifestyle. It is part of you. It is part of who you are rather than just an action you're completing. If this thing, this goal you want to complete is part of who you want to be, part of your dream life, then don't just treat it like an action you're completing, something that you've done once or you might have done a handful of times. Make it part of who you are and you will start living your dream life. I'm trying to think of an example. I've been really into writing recently so let's say you want to be a writer you want to be an author a creative then don't just say like yeah I've written a couple times or I've written a couple thousand words or a couple hundred words or whatever say you write consider yourself a writer already you are writing it is part of your routine everyone starts somewhere and just because you've only done it a handful of times doesn't mean that you need to feel like an imposter it is part of who you are you're in the process of being a writer it's not just something you're doing so don't hold yourself back by isolating these actions from who you actually are and isolating yourself therefore from who you want to be. So I have another example. If you want to be someone who is into yoga, who's good at yoga, who's flexible, who knows the move, the language and goes to classes and everything, even if you have no equipment and no special clothes, you don't know everything yet, you're not an expert, you can still do it and make it a part of your life. But if the entire time you're doing yoga, you're trying out classes, you're watching videos, you're learning more, you're telling yourself that you're no good at this or that you don't know enough or you're not the type of person who would normally do this then of course you're not the type of person who normally does that because you are literally holding yourself back with your own mindset so focus on being that person embody it make it a part of your life rather than disconnecting yourself from your actions i really hope that makes sense and i hope that inspires you a little bit but let's get into mindset shift number two Move away from a focus on negativity. Negative thought is just another thing that is holding you back massively. It is making you constantly critical and stressed. Trust me, I have massive anxiety and I have health things because of it. I grind my teeth so badly. Thinking negatively will physically manifest in your body and take over your life. So if your dream life includes being positive and happy, then focus on those things. Don't constantly pick on yourself and the world around you because that will manifest in your mindset and in your life. So focus more on the positive and you will crowd out negative thoughts. So find things that you love doing, focus on gratitude. Don't let these stressful negative thoughts overwhelm you because where will that get you? And if you want to know more about how to live a less stressful life, I have a full episode on that with, I believe it's 15 habits which help you de-stress and remove stress and negativity from your life. I get all into that in episode 9 if you want to check that out. 
next mindset shift is to embrace an abundance mindset. So welcome gratitude into your life. No matter what, even when things are really hard, I promise there is so much to be grateful for. And if we're not grateful for what we already have, even if it is just a little bit, or it seems like just a little bit, if you're really stressed or things aren't going your way, then how can we expect more if we're not grateful for what we already have? If you're practicing gratitude, you're working towards an abundance mindset and you are training your brain to see the good rather than the bad. This is kind of a extension to what we were talking about before with not focusing on the negative. So I wanna do a whole episode about this and I've been planning this maybe for the end of January, beginning of February, but we naturally, have a negativity bias in our brains and it's there to protect us biologically. So just know that even when things go right, we naturally focus on the negative. Like I said, I really want to get into this. I think it's so interesting. So we have to kind of train our brains to focus on the positive, on all the things around us, all the opportunities, all the good. And we can do that with gratitude and focusing on an abundance mindset. So these things let you see more of the good in the world around you. And I promise there is so much. And it's a really good mindset shift to focus on for the new year and for 2024. The next thing is to be open to learning. And I love this tip. This year, focus on realizing you might not always be right. And I'm quite stubborn, but I have worked on recognizing this. And trust me, I'm not always right. (laughs) But I think this is such a useful tip because I pride myself on really valuing intelligence and learning. I think the thing you realize is, as you learn more, is that intelligent people recognize that they don't know everything. And that's what makes them intelligent because they want to learn more. They are willing to listen to other people's opinions and they want to see different perspectives because they realize there's so much out there to know. And I actually did some research on this and there's this thing called the Dunning-Kruger effect. And this is basically, I think it's a psychological study that found that people with less competence tend to overestimate their abilities. So if you actually want to be more intelligent, you have to understand that you're not the expert and there is always stuff to learn. But putting yourself in this open to learning mindset will make you realize there's actually so much interesting new stuff out there to learn. And there are also so many viewpoints and there is not one version of truth or what is right. And you can learn so much from other experiences and everything like that. But also being open to learning can make you feel more inspired. It can make you feel more excited about life and it can invite in new opportunities and allow you to try new things. Okay, the last mindset shift we're gonna talk about is focusing on the current moment, focusing on being present. And this is something I've been massively thinking about and I wanna make a really big priority in 2024. And something that I've recognized a lot during the Christmas season that I need to make a priority. So this really helps with not overwhelming yourself if you're trying to focus on one thing at one time. So one thing you can really do to help with this is if your brain is overflowing with thoughts, if you're overthinking, get them out of your head, do a brain dump, get it on paper or in a notes app and just get it out of your brain and it will help you focus on just what's around you and not all the thoughts in your head. Because trust me, when you're done focusing on whatever's around you, the thoughts will still be there. It's nicer and less overwhelming when they're on paper. You can deal with them then and you can deal with them better. Something else you can do is to take breaks from social media and from work, from things that can be a bit overwhelming. Let weekends be a weekend, let them be a break. Let yourself reset and relax and take time for yourself and say yes to things you actually want to do and say no to things you don't want to do and that are stressful. Just let yourself be. And also something I've been really into in the past couple of months is taking social media detox days. I'm actually doing one today where I'm doing not a social media detox day where I don't use social media, although I do love implementing those. I'm doing a no scroll day where I've posted a couple Instagram stories. I might post a TikTok. I'm not scrolling and I'm loving it. And something big with focusing on the present moment is trying really hard and it's like working out a muscle. So you have to train it, but you have to try focus on not worrying about the past and not worrying about the future. It's hard. It's really hard and I'm working on it right now, but it's something that is going to be such a powerful mindset shift when you train yourself to do this. You can think about the past and the future in small controlled doses, but be reflective and reflexive as you're thinking about them. Recognize how these things make you feel. If the thoughts become overwhelming, try to let your mind clear and recognize them as thoughts and let them pass. Ask yourself, what does thinking about this in the current moment do for me? And if it doesn't serve you right now, allow your body to accept that they happened and allow them to pass because it does not do anything for you worrying about them in the present moment. And another thing you can do is to focus on the little things. This links with gratitude, but you should really focus on everything around you. There is so much to 
appreciate if you look out for it. Everything from nature and sunlight and trees and the sound of birds to grass to the weather, the food you're eating or the comfy furniture you're sitting on or to the phone you're using or the computer you're using to listen to this. You're so lucky and take a second to appreciate everything because there is so much around you. And if you stop looking at the big picture, if you stop worrying all the time and try focus on these little things, you will feel so much better. So I thought talking about positive mindset shifts would be a great way to end off this new year series and honestly recording this episode has made me so happy and I needed these reminders too and it makes me so happy talking about them. If you haven't caught up on the other episodes you can check them out on Spotify, on YouTube, on any way you're listening to this podcast. It is the past five episodes of the podcast that make up this little new year's mini series and they're all pretty short and succinct and really easy bite-sized episodes to listen to. So if you've listened to all of the new year's mini series or just this episode I want to say thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the podcast in general and if you did like this episode please do leave a five stars review on apple Podcasts or on spotify it would mean the world to me and if you have enjoyed this episode please do follow the podcast because we talk all about lifestyle self-improvement how to live your best life positive mindset and all that kind of stuff and i would love to see you guys next time thank you again for listening